What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to kind of go over uh, a couple tier lists that I have for you guys coming into season four after all the patch notes that got released yesterday. So these are all the final patch notes that got released yesterday. We made a video going over that. Um, it's a little bit long, but there's a lot of information here. So feel free to go through and read this. The link will be down in the description below. But what I wanted to do was just go over a quick tier list for the classes, and then I'll have a separate video for the builds, okay? Your top five builds. So let's go ahead and hop right into this. I know a lot of people love uh, these videos and just really enjoy the upcoming best classes in the game. So I'm going to kind of go from the worst to the best because we already know who the best is, but let's go ahead and go get into it so right now i still think rogue is in the c tier uh rogue has really fallen off i think the grenade aspects and stuff that are coming to diablo 4 season 4 will be really fun and interesting to use for the rogue uh i do really hope that they increase some of the bow builds uh i really kind of i like the idea of the uh rapid fire being able to launch kind of like you know uh, a ballista or something but in the end, yo, Adam Jackson, just give us multi-shot. I've been asking for this for seasons. Nobody wants to play Barrage. Nobody wants to play Rapid Fire. Just give us multi-shot, and all the Rogue players will be extremely happy. Um, Twisted Blades is still fairly good. Flurry did get a buff, so the builds for Rogue are just you know subpar in comparison to some of the other um, builds from the other classes. Penshot can do a lot of damage, um, but you got to go through a, a particular sequence. Otherwise, it's just kind of just mad. It's clunky. So, uh, Twisted Blades is probably still the best build for the Rogue. Um, but yeah, Rogue has really fallen off since basically Season 1. Um, next, we have Necromancer. I'm putting Necromancer like in the middle, right? Because here's the thing with Necromancer. All right. We've had three seasons plus the beta, plus the alpha, plus you know pre-release and then the release of the game so necromancer has had zero minions it's basically been and macro boy will probably disagree with me but necromancer has basically been bone spear or bust i know in season two i think we had you know an infamous build that was solid uh we had a sever build that was pretty solid um, but it's really been just bone spear or nothing. The only minion class in the game has had zero minions. But all that changes with season four because now all the minions get 100% of your um, attributes from your player, your character. So hopefully this makes them better. My only concern with uh, minions is the AI aspect because minions are pretty dumb in Diablo 4. And they don't really work too well. However, if they're just incredibly powerful and they're dumb, when they hit, actually hit a monster, they'll kill it and just move on. So we'll see how that goes. But until some re we see some real changes after Season 4 releases and we get to really experiment with it, Necromancers are B tier. Um, Yeah, man, I feel bad because I want to play Necromancer and it's just... You just can't, man. Just the idea of summoning all your minions that do nothing is just like really, it's just pain, right? Um, quick disclaimer, guys, while before we get to the last three classes, this is just all my opinion. So feel free to disagree with me down in the comments below, but obviously keep it, you know, um, civil, you know, have good criticism and, you know, hey, explain why you don't like a class at a particular rank, etc. Don't just go, well, Rogue is the best. So they deserve to be S tier. Well, okay. I can't really have a conversation with you. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's get back to this. Let's go to uh, my class, Sork. A tier Sork. Okay? Actually, we should just move these down. I'm sorry. Let's move these down. Um, Sork is going to be B tier. All right. Sork has been basically the baseline of all the classes. Sork has continued to be, you know, pretty good at everything, but not the best at anything. The only time that they were top of the food chain for a moment was in season two with the ball lightning, which was nerfed. And we found out that it was a bug that was double hitting everything. So that's the only reason ball lightning was even good. And now the ball lightning is complete trash. It's not even a build that you should consider playing. Um, 
However, with that said, as a Sork main and someone who enjoys playing Sork, there is some very, very strong builds, right? You got like Frozen Orb, you got like Meteors, right? Um, you got the this new Frozen um, Nova build that's kind of cool. So uh, there's just, Sork is just really good at just kind of everything, but not the best or worst at anything. Uh, I've said this for seasons that Sork has just been kind of like the baseline. The, the bummer with Sork is, is that it's just never going to really have like one of the best builds in the game. Um, I think I think we hit our 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 like cap in season two with ball lightning. I just don't see anything ever being stronger than that for Sork um, in the future. So she will be down in a uh, B tier, which is just kind of it is what it is. Then we're gonna get to Druid. Druid is A tier. Okay, Druid is just absolutely fantastic. Druid continues to get massive buffs uh, and changes to the basic skills to make the leveling process easier. Resource management really really easy. Um, and they have just a plethora of builds that are super strong. The one knock is, I talked about this in the changes, is that overpower for one of the glyphs got nerfed, which is just ironic. I don't know why the devs would buff overpower in one season and then nerf it twice after that. It doesn't make sense. So now overpower as a whole is actually one tick worse than what it was before any changes were even made question why do that just leave it normal then i guess i don't know i'm not a dev maybe i'm just a dumb gamer guys you can explain that to me down in the comments below um but companions got a huge buff okay shred basic skill attacks are all super strong lightning storm like pretty much any build that you play for druid is just super powerful going into this next season so i think there's going to be a lot of druids uh it's just he's just really slow until you start playing lightning shred or you trample around so druid is incredibly powerful and then uh, last and certainly not least, and the best class in the game for three consecutive seasons, Barbarian. To be honest, it really should be like this. Like we should, we should add another rank so that way the separation looks like this because Barbarian is so strong that I'm salty about it. And I'm sure a lot of non-Barbarian players feel the same way barbarians are so strong that in the lower levels it may sound like an exaggeration but it's not you're doing millions tens of millions before you even get to level 100 it's absolutely insane barbarian has been dominating with every single season any build that you have for barbarian is just leagues ahead of any other class or any other build for that matter last season in particular barbarians were doing billions upon billions rogue did happen to do 1 billion but again you had to go through a very particular sequence just for penetrating shot to actually do it and even then that's something that you couldn't achieve just like going through a dungeon it was made specifically for bossing and when you take a barbarian build and make it for bossing, now you're doing quad quadrillions damage. It's just absolutely insane. So the small nerfs that they got, which is ironic compared to the other classes like this season. So they nerfed the twister build, right? So they nerfed the twister by release, uh, you know, going from five twisters to three, but then they gave it a damage buff. So it's a one for one, which is pretty even, which is fair, right? But then you have other builds that just get double nerfs to their skills. Adam Jackson, question mark. Uh, but yeah, Barbarian is the top of the list, especially going into season four. There is nothing else you should be playing besides Barbarian, unless you want to have the fantasy of playing another class. Um, Barbarians, again, like I said, are probably doing 10 million plus damage at 20, 25, roughly. And now, now with these brand new changes about giving you a, basically a starter set of legendaries to get your builds going into World Tiers 3 and 4, Barbarians will be doing even more damage at even lower uh, levels. So, yeah, guys, that's the tier list. You let me know down in the description below. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited about season four? Let's get this video to 50 likes. Let's get this tier list popping. Let's get the conversation started. What do you guys think with all the changes from uh, the patch notes of yesterday's um, campfire stream? And you guys let me know if this list is pretty accurate or not and who should be higher or lower. But yeah, guys, like the video, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.